So when looking at the building blocks, each part was strategically designed to teach a specific skill is 10 parts. And then when looking at all 10 parts, we've actually created three different prints. The first print shows the basic shape. The next print shows the threads or the holes. And then the final print takes the part complete. The first part, we call it the Titan 1M. It starts off as a basic rectangle. We add threaded holes and then the pockets in. Going to the second part, it's a Titan 2M. It's similar to the first part, but now we have chamfered edges and the pockets are open-ended. Part three, we go to a circle and we add an O-ring groove. Part four is a triangle, but we have a radial keyway groove. Part five starts off as a circle, ends up as a star with engraving. Part six is a circle also, but now we have islands. Part seven has a unique shape, but now we deal with mirroring your part because specific features are mirrored on the top and bottom of the part. Part eight was created simply by the thought, let's make a unique shape. We made binoculars, we made pockets, but now we have an inside radial O-ring groove. And then part nine completely steps the game up. We're adding in 3D surfacing or multi-axis milling, where we take a round or ball end mill and we walk up a 3D surface milling a unique shape. Last but not least, I thought we'd have some fun. This part right here represents an actual aerospace part that would assemble to a rocket. And that's why we introduced the honeycomb technique. It makes for a strong and very light component that we use in aerospace every day. Building the curriculum alone is a huge task. I recently hired an engineer named Billy and all he does all day long is create content for the curriculum. I hired more editors. I hired a bigger team. And now we're working on a website to finish off our master plan. The curriculum is going online, Titans of CNC Academy for free.